Hey what's up guys and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. Potentially a very interesting Team of the Week this week so there is plenty to discuss. Also towards the end of the video I have some information regarding a potential record breaker or hero card for this week so make sure you stick around for that. Anyway as always in the comments below let me know who you think could get an inform this week and also if you leave a like in this video that would be absolutely awesome. So before we get into my predictions, here are the potential informs. These are the players who I think could get an inform, but haven't quite made it into my team delete prediction. Still start off with Kazawa of PSG, who got a goal in a 4-1 win for his side. Vidal once again got a goal and kept clean sheet in a 4-0 win for Bayern Munich. Carlos Vela, this guy has a high chance of an inform, but I just couldn't make room for him. Two goals in a 4-0 win. And then there's this guy, Quincy Promes. He... I think he's going to get the inform to be honest, but once again, could not find space for him in my predictions. He scored twice in the Moscow derby, so um, yeah, he probably will get the inform, but as I say, just couldn't make room for him. Page number two, we have Felipe Anderson, who got two goals in a 3-0 win for Lazio. Gomez, Mario Gomez keeps scoring. Cha-cha, this guy just keeps scoring, probably will get an inform soon enough. Two goals in a 5-1 win for him, but it was a Monday night fixture. Eva Benega got a goal and an assist in a 5-0 win. But um, a player on his team got a hat-trick, and that's the player who I've predicted to get the inform. And then we have Bellarabi, who got a goal and an assist in a 4-3 win for his side by Leverkusen. And there is one more player who I forgot to put on, and that's Marco Royce, who scored twice in a win for Dortmund. Right then, let's get into my predictions. We start off with the goalkeeper. I have gone for Kostel Pantelemon of Sunderland, who made 8 saves and kept clean sheet in a 3-0 win for Sunderland over Newcastle. Next up is Arsenal's Laurent Koscielny. Will Arsenal get a 5th in form for the 5th week in a row? Koscielny got a goal in a 2-1 win for Arsenal over Everton. Julian Korb is up next. This guy got a goal and put in a solid performance in a 3-1 win for his side over Schalke. A position change card now, Lulic. Now this guy originally in FIFA Ultimate Team is a centre mid and a very good one at that. Now he played left back for Lazio this week and got a goal and assist and kept clean sheet in a 3-0 win. And look at the stats on this card. This in form would be awesome. It would be a shame if it's a left back but still, awesome looking card. Would definitely want to try this one out. And if you are a bit of a sweaty player and you do like to play 5 back, then this guy could be a perfect left wing back. Balbuena of Lyon got himself a goal and an assist in a 3 0 win for Lyon. Very impressive performance from him and his non informed pretty OP, so hopefully this in form will be incredible. Roberto Soriano did the same for his side a goal and an assist in a 4 1 win. Not a bad looking card, probably would be this card, but still a nice, cheap, fairly well rounded in form. Hulk is up next. He should be in this week's team of the week. A goal and three assists in a 5 1 win, so he contributed to four goals which should be enough to see him get the inform this week. He was robbed of one the other week, but he's got to get it this week, surely. And um, yeah, a very good looking card incoming for Hulk. Dirk Kite is up next, another player who got robbed of an inform. He got a hat-trick last week, didn't get the inform. He's got a hat-trick again this week, so surely he's got to get the inform now. Two hat-tricks in two weeks, very impressive. One of them was a penalty this week, but nevertheless, another hat-trick. Surely cannot be ignored. We should be seeing an inform Kite this week. Harry Kane, another player with a hat-trick. Once again, he did get a penalty as well, but that shouldn't matter. A hat-trick in a 5-1 win for Tottenham should be enough to see inform Harry Kane come into FIFA Ultimate Team. Luis Suarez, the biggest player in this week's Team of the Week. Three goals for him in a 3-1 win for Barcelona. This card looks insane. I'm probably not going to be able to afford it, and I've got no chance of packing it. So, um, yeah, probably not going to get a chance to use this card as it currently stands, but still, awesome card, and uh, hopefully one of you guys will indeed pack him. And then the final player in the starting 11 is an in-form Aubameyang card. He got himself a hat-trick in a 5-1 win for Dortmund, and um, yeah, pretty damn insane looking card. Once again, probably not going to afford it, probably not going to pack it, but hopefully at some point I'll be able to pick it up because, uh, yeah, that card looks pretty damn fun. So guys, that is the starting 11 of my predictions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and let's get into the bench and reserves. So, on the bench, we have this guy, Stanislav Krikowit, uh, probably butchered that name, but nevertheless, this guy plays for Braga and apparently made a bunch of saves. I've got down here, he made 18 saves against Porto. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, that is incredible. Nevertheless, he had a pretty impressive performance, kept clean sheet against Porto, who am um, a pretty high in flying this year, so this guy should be getting the inform, in my opinion, especially if that 18 saves thing is true. Moving on to of Olympiacos who got two goals in a 2-1 win. Very nice looking centre-back card, especially 
for his silver, good defensive and physical attributes. Max Dendera is next. He got two goals from midfield in a 2-1 win. Decent looking silver once again. That silver card looks incredible. Would be a pretty good cam or CM. And then we have Bruninho who got two goals and an assist in a 3-0 win for his side. Decent looking silvers. As I said, three silvers already looking pretty damn good in this week's potential team of the week. And another really good looking silver card, Diego Farias. This guy's got 90 pace and then um, we'll probably have a good dribbling stat. Once again, two goals and an assist for him, but this time in a 4-1 win. A gold player on the bench, the MLS league season has just ended, so we probably will see an MLS inform in this week's Team of the Week. I've gone for Clint Dempsey, who got a goal and an assist in a 3-1 win over Salt Lake in the final game of the league season. Kevin Gamero got himself a hat-trick in a 5-0 win for Sevilla, which is, uh, yeah, pretty damn crazy. Ava Benega had a pretty good performance in that game, so it could go to him, but um, I couldn't ignore Gamera, who got himself a hat-trick. Edin Visca is up next, and we're back to the incredible-looking silver cards. This one looks pretty damn insane. He got two goals and an assist in a 4-0 win. Fred Friday, what a name that is. Absolutely incredible. Two goals and an assist in a 3-1 win for him, and, uh, yeah, hopefully he gets the inform because that is an awesome name. Ivan Kovacic, um, probably got that one wrong too, but this guy got himself a hat-trick in a 5-2 win for his side. So yeah, should see him get the inform as long as EA don't overlook the small leagues, which is something they tend to do, which is a bit of a shame, but still, this guy definitely deserves the inform. David Rodriguez got three goals. One of them was a penalty in a 6-1 win for his side, so he should be nailed on for the inform. And once again, not a bad-looking silver inform. Good pace of 82, really good shooting of 77, and 70 physical. Awesome silvers in this week's potential team of the week. The final player in my predictions is Dolon Pabon, who got two goals and an assist in a 3-1 win for his side. And once again, a very nice looking, potentially cheap in form. So guys, that is my predictions for this week's team of the week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, just before we end, I want to show you guys this, a potential special card coming to FIFA Ultimate Team. Now recently, a record breaker Casillas card was released on the mobile and iOS versions of FIFA 16. Yes, fair enough, they often do release a lot, and I mean a lot of special cards, like the Man of Match cards that you can see in the picture, and most of the time, they don't actually come to the console version of Ultimate Team. However, with Casillas, I can see this one coming to console because he did break a record. He broke the Champions League appearance record a few weeks ago, and he definitely does deserve a record breaker card. Maybe it'll come to Ultimate Team on the console in this week's Team of the Week, maybe even on Friday, or possibly not at all, but I still thought I'd mention it in this video. I didn't put it in the title or anything because it's not something I'm sure of, but still, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyway guys, that is it for this week's Team of the Week predictions. Quite a lengthy one, but hopefully you guys didn't mind too much. Nevertheless, make sure to leave a comment. If you leave like this video, that'd be awesome. Have a good day. Adios.